We've put together a Max template for interacting directly with the MIDI data generated by your Instrument 1 in Max. The Instrument 1 for Max router lets you creatively remap and route both the note and continuous controller data from your Instrument 1 in any of the limitless ways Max allows. You can use this template as the basis for all kinds of creative projects controlled by your Instrument 1, including custom synths and sound generators, visual effects, and much more. Let's see how it works. Our template patch takes care of all the routing work with the Instrument 1, so you don't have to. If you're interested to see how it works, you can open the embedded sub patches for each mode. For now though, let's jump right into building something with the template. The Instrument 1 sends MIDI on distinct channels depending on the active mode and method combination at any given time. In guitar mode, for example, each string sends note and CC data on its own channel. These data streams terminate in a max send object in the patch, so you can access the data streams from your own patch simply by using a receive object as long as the Instrument 1 patch is open and connected. Let's give it a try. Open a new patch and create a new receive object by typing N and then R. Tell the receive object to receive chan press 1, which will get the channel pressure data from the first string of the Instrument 1. Connect the receive object to a slider to see the values we're getting. Great! Now let's repeat that process for each of the six strings. Now that we have continuous data coming from each of our strings, let's see how to turn that into sound. How about we make a multi-touch synthesizer with each string controlling the volume of the pitch? First, we'll need pitches to play, so let's receive the note values from each string. Again, create a receive object and point it to note 1. This will get the last note value from the first string. Now, we'll have to turn our MIDI note value into a frequency before we send it to an oscillator. So create an MTOF object. Let's do some basic additive synthesis and add a cycle to a saw object. To get sound, we'll have to connect our oscillator abstraction to an easy DAC object. Let's add a gain stage in the middle. This is what we'll modulate with our channel pressure data. Let's try completing the signal chain, and then we'll replicate it for each string. Now that we've replicated the signal chain for each string, we have a basic polyphonic synth. This is just scratching the surface in Max. For now though, let's try something different and see how you can use the Instrument 1 to control visual effects using some of Max's built-in jitter modules. This kind of patching can open the door to some incredible real-time visual effects controlled by the Instrument 1. Let's create a new, clean patch and start with a player object. Load a video, which you can then connect to other Visi processing modules to manipulate. We'll use Instrument 1 MIDI data to modulate the parameters of our Visi modules in real time. Let's create a fractalizer object and a collider object. Let's use Instrument 1's tilt feature to modulate the number of columns in our fractalizer object. 
create a new receive object and tell it to receive tilt. We'll need to rescale our tilt values, which range from 0 to 127, to be in the correct range of 0 to 1. So create a scale object with the parameters 0, 127, and 0, 1. Now let's connect one of our channel pressure values to the collider object. Again, we'll have to rescale the values from 0 to 127 to 0 to 1. Once that's done, connect the stream to the horizontal offset of the collider. Finally, connect this video stream to a projector object to see our output and let's see how it looks. Awesome! We can now see how tilt and channel pressure are modulating our video stream. This is just a small taste of the kinds of creative projects you can build using Max and leveraging all the great control data coming from the Instrument One. We can't wait to see what you'll build with it.